How to trade crypto futures on Mexi quick and easy 2022. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. In this video, I bring you back yet another crypto related tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you a great website, which is Mexi Global. And in that website, I'm going to show you how you can do futures trading. So first of all, I'm going to get into what futures trading really is. And then I'm going to be telling you how you can do futures trading. I'm going to be showing you how you can deposit your crypto from your Mexi wallet to your futures trading wallet. And then I'm also going to show you different ways you can buy crypto on uh, Mexi. It's going to be very easy. These are very simple steps and I'm going to take you through all of them. It's not complicated at all. All you need to do is follow every single one of my steps and I'm going to guide you through it all. And by the end of this video, you're going to know how you can do futures trading on Mexi. So let's get right into it. So first of all, let's discuss what futures trading really is. So if we write futures trading, we can see that futures trading is when a type of derivative contract agreement to buy or sell a specific commodity asset or security at a set future data for a set price. In easier words, this is a future agreement or a future deal in which we want to buy or sell some type of asset. And we make this future deal with other people or other traders on the website. So obviously the website we're going to be discussing is Mexi. So we're just going to click Mexi and we're going to go on Mexi.com. Now, once we're on Mexi.com, if you don't know how to use Mexi, don't worry. I'm going to go through all of that as well right now. So here you come on Mexi. They have this amazing interface. Now, you can obviously check the features of Mexi out. If you come down here, you can see these graphs regarding cryptocurrencies. For example, Bitcoin, the change in Bitcoin, Ethereum, the change in Ethereum, Litecoin, their graphs. You can even start trading right now over here. You can see the top gainers, the top futures. Now obviously you can see the top futures right now are the Bitcoin and USDT perpetual pairing. And you can just uh, look at all these and tell how great this website. And if you go on why choose Mexi, it says that it's a safe and secure platform. There's fast crypto listings and wide crypto varieties. So looking at all of this, now what you need to do is obviously first of all, go and get yourself signed in. Now, once you're getting signed in, it's all it's gonna do, it's gonna ask for your email. And once you do that, it's gonna send a verification to your email. Once you've verified yourself, that is it. It's gonna make an account for you and you're gonna come over here. Now, before getting into the details, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go on settings. And once you've gone on settings, you're gonna go on uh, security. Now, once you're on security, make sure that you activate mobile verification and Google Authenticator. Now, what this does is it basically makes a two-factor authorization for you and it makes sure that nobody basically hacks or scams your account. Now, I'm going to show you how the hacking or scamming works. Uh, you're also going to need to go to withdrawal settings. Now, once you're on withdrawal settings, you're going to go on add withdrawal address. Now here you're going to add in your currency that you want to withdraw. I usually do USDT because it's a stable coin currency. Now, once you do that, you're going to put in your work type and then you're going to put in your withdrawal address from your wallet. Once you do that, you're going to confirm what that does is whenever someone will try to withdraw it from this certain wallet, it will send a code to your Google Authenticator. So basically it's gonna be a verification to find out if it's really you or not. So basically this way you can get hacked or scammed by other people. Now, first of all, let's get into futures trading. Now to get into futures trading, first of all, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go into your wallets and go to your overview. Now, first of all, what you're gonna do is obviously, we're gonna transfer our crypto or our money to our futures. So we're gonna click on transfer. Now, once you do that, you're going to use it from your spot account to your futures account. Now, what's the difference? Spot account is the account that you use to buy your crypto on the spot. Basically, there's an on-spot transaction and it happens right there and then. In futures, you basically put a bid. Now, to transfer, we're just going to put in whatever currency you want to transfer. We're going to put in our amount and we're going to click on transfer. Now, what that does is it will transfer our currency from our spot account to our futures account. Then we're just going to go in futures over here and in futures we can uh, basically see different tools. They have full range of crypto derivative tools, USDT tools, CoinM tools, futures M day, copy trade, demo trading, futures leaderboard and futures activities and major events. This can basically, these are stake rewards and other things like that and you can check these out if you want to. 
but obviously to start proper futures trading you're going to go on trade and you're going to go on spot now once you're on spot you're going to see all of this and this is obviously the graph of your trading now over here you can start your futures training obviously you're in spot right now so you're just going to go and you're going to click on 1x200 and futures now it's going to open a futures chart so we're just going to wait for that to load up and there we go here we have ourselves a futures trading chart so we're just going to wait for the candles to load up now once the candles load up i'm going to get you right into it Till the candles load up, I'm going to talk about the order book. Now in the order book, obviously you can see all the different trades that are going on. These are the trade the, or the assets that are being sold. These are the assets that are being bought. And if you go down here, we can see the different market trades that are being done at the moment. Now, obviously down here, you're going to see your wallet balance. And over here, you're going to see the amount of um, crypto that you transferred to your futures account. And you're going to see all of that right here. And obviously right now, I don't think the future trading market is working. So I'm just going to tell you from here and I'm going to tell you from. Oh, OK. So our charts just open. So over here, obviously, you're going to need to know how to use candle charts. If you don't, I'm going to tell you real quick. It's very simple and very easy. Uh, basically, what these candle charts tell us is this over here is the opening. This is the close. So basically, uh, every single chart is a day. So over here, this is the opening of the day. The opening was 20,434 on this certain day. Then the closing of this day was 20,632. So when it's green, it obviously goes up. But when it's red, the opening is up here and the closing is down here. And these little lines that you see, this is the maximum drop and maximum gain in the price. So yeah, that's basically how you see using basic candle charts. Now, once you've used in candle charts, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start doing your normal trading. Do your normal trading. You also have to see your order books. And up here, you have to see your different uh, funding rates, your countdown, your index and fair prices, and the volume the Bitcoin turnover is. You're going to want to assess all of that. And once you come over here, you're going to want to go on price, quantity, and you're going to set out whatever type of future asset you want to put stock in uh, you're going to put in your price and your stable coin for example your usdt obviously and then you're going to put in the amount of quantity of any type of currency for example bitcoin or any other type of currency you want to and obviously first of all you're going to log in once you log in after that it's going to give you an option to either open or close or and uh, you're going to dabble around with that and once you've done that you can obviously control the quantity meter down here you can make the max openable quantity and just mess around with that so yeah that's basically the main look of how you can work with futures trading on mexi global now i'm also going to show you how you can buy or deposit your crypto because obviously over here you're going to need different crypto values to deposit so we're going to go back to mexi global and once we're over here now i'm going to show you how you can buy crypto and deposit crypto and other things like that so obviously first of all what you're going to do is you're going to go and buy crypto now when you're on buy crypto you're going to see these different options for example debit card global bank transfer quick buy sell p2p trading third-party payments now you can go with any of these depending on what kind of payment you want to do but obviously the best ways on mexi global or any exchange website are debit or credit card or global bank transfer now i'd recommend the global bank transfer because it takes less fees from you so i'm just going to show that right here once you open this you're going to put in your currency and uh, once you put in your currency what you're going to want to do is uh, just put in your bank account then what will happen is that you'll send a small bill of like a dollar or two a wire transfer from your bank to mexi global what that will do is it will verify uh, your bank and your identity and that's how easy it is although when it comes to debit or credit card obviously the transactions are much faster and more efficient but it takes a bigger fee so it just cuts a lot of money off so i just recommend a bank transfer that's just better and that's how you buy crypto on mexi global
and uh, then once you are signed in and stuff you're gonna see your wallet you're gonna go to your wallet and that's where you see your crypto and obviously from there you can deposit it to your futures as i showed you in the start of the video so yeah that's pretty much about it if you want to learn more about futures you can just come here and learn if you still don't understand a few things you can let me know down in the comments if you have any problems or queries let me know and i'll get back to you asap and uh, furthermore if you want to see more crypto related videos please let me know down in the comments and i will make them for you as soon as i can but yeah till then like the video uh, subscribe to the channel because that helps me out a lot leave a nice comment if you like the video and uh, uh, please share this with the as many people as you can or someone in need and yeah that's all from me till then have a great day uh, i'll see you next time goodbye